Hi, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Hope you're all doing pretty well. Seems like we kind of almost got out of that uh, pretty scary dump. And as that happened, I'm sure a lot of you were thinking, man, ooh, I wish I had taken more stable coins and just put them aside for something like this to, to buy that dip. That was a really, really good dip. Usually I try to keep about 30% of my portfolio in stable coins for times such as these because I've seen a dip like that many a time. So I know they're always coming. Thankfully, that wasn't the dip, you know, the one that's going to end the bull market. Well, it seems like it wasn't anyway. So the game continues. If you haven't met me before, my name's Richie. Nice to meet you. And today we're talking about Aave on the Polygon Matic network, not on the Ethereum chain. Because there's a great opportunity right now on the Matic network through Aave and Polygon, where they're working together, where you can borrow money from Aave and get paid to borrow it in Matic. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you today what I was doing during this dump uh, with the stable coins I actually have been holding in Aave as collateral. It's kind of like a strange tale of borrowing and lending and borrowing and buying dips and what I was playing with, okay? Uh, anybody can do this. You just, you can go in with one Matic. You can go in with a million Matic. Do as you wish. The more Matic or stable coins that you put into the Avi protocol, the more uh, collateral you have to borrow more to then invest more. I'm going to talk about what I'm doing with it, how to manage your risk in Aave, and how to get the best from the platform. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. The draw for the $25 of stablecoins will be at the end of this video. So please watch till the end so that you can find out who the winner is going to be. I promise you that the content in this video is going to be pretty interesting if you like getting in to nice positions. Right, so here is Aave, right? And this is one of my wallets for Aave. Here you can see it's a lot of circles and wheels, and we're just going to spend a little bit of time talking about the dashboard, okay, and what's going on here. So we have uh, my balance in Aave is approximately $2,200. I have deposited $400 of USDC, $300 of USDT, and 852 Matic, which is $1,500 as of now. We have some APYs because as for holding your assets in here, you are growing your assets. My USDC is growing 2% annually, USDT 3%, Matic uh, by 1%. But also we have this box under here, which has a little Matic icon. This is how much Matic I'm being rewarded with for using Aave. This is a kind of partnership they have going on right now. Participating in the Aave market gives you rewards in wrapped Matic token. Wrapped Matic is the same as Matic, it's just wrapped up. For It's easier for trading and things. The APR is just a representation on how these rewards would be during a one-year period. So you can see here by having the USDT in here, I'm getting 11%. Matic's giving me 5.8 and USDC is giving me 3.31. You can find your rewards for it up here. So this is about a day's working with that. I've got 0.3 Matic which at the moment is not much money. But the more I put into this, the more Matic I can get rewarded. And the higher the price of Matic, the more Matic I can get rewarded. Now, this is my deposits, but you'll look over here, I have $300 of USDT. But actually, over here, I have my borrowed, and I borrowed this USDT. <laughs> so I borrowed it, and then I put it back into the system. Why? Well. By borrowing it, there's an APY of 4.21%, right? So that means that after one year, I'm going to owe 300 and say 303, $304 or something like that, okay? But I'm also getting paid in Matic to borrow this USDT in 13.14% APR in Matic into my balance up here, meaning that actually the APY is non-existent because then that is 9% APR paid by Matic. The problem with the USDT is that it's the collateral, it cannot be used as collateral, but that's okay. I don't really want to borrow <laughs> on an asset that I've borrowed. That would be business suicide, right? 
you want to be able to use this platform in a responsible manner, right? So how to do this responsibly? Because there is a danger doing this, right? You could liquidate all your funds. The danger, okay, the danger of this is that, for example, especially if you're using uh, a volatile asset or an asset that can go up and down, such as Matic, okay? If you go in with Matic, say I put in $2,000 of Matic, which would be about 1,000 Matic today, the, and then I borrow off my Matic. Here you can borrow, see? So I've borrowed something. I have Matic. Then I say, you know what? I want some more Matic. So at the moment, I can borrow 432 more Matic if I want to go super risky. I could borrow all that Matic, and then I could trade it. I could put it into farms. I could speculate that it's going to go up, okay? And then try to keep selling it. I could speculate it's going to go down. Whatever you, whatever you borrow comes with risk. Because, for example, I'm holding the 2,000, which means I can borrow 1,000 Matic, probably. About 1,000 Matic. So say I go all the way up to Risky, I borrow all that Matic, I press continue, I take it, and then I put that Matic out to work. Suddenly, there's a market crash. And that the price of Matic goes from $1.75 all the way down to 50 cents. It could happen. We saw it two days ago. That means then that you still have to pay back your loan. But... Your collateral inside of your dashboard will now not be $2,000. It will be $500, meaning that you are now being liquidated. You need to be aware that you can always repay the loan that you have made because something terrible can always happen in, in crypto. Right, with all that being said, uh, I am still using this. As you can see, I've taken out 300 and I'm going to show you how to use this platform, right? So as I said, I have... $2,100 in here, which is dipping. The Matic, price of Matic has gone down recently, okay? I like to borrow stablecoin assets because the risk is lower. That is what I'm doing with this, but you can do what you want. So I can still borrow three seven hundred dollars more of uh, USDC. So say I choose to borrow $100, a variable a APY, which could go up or down. You need to keep an eye on that too. And I borrow. Okay, I have borrowed, I go back to my dashboard, and then I think, huh, I want more Ratmatic. So then I deposit the $100 I just borrowed, <laughs> and I put it back into Matic. So I've circled this, right? I go back to my dashboard. I've increased my balance, and my collateral has gone up. I am now farming more Matic, and I'm getting some APY on that. Over on this side, the APY for the price of this going up is more than the price of me holding it in here by 1%. need to be aware of that. But I'm also getting 4.5% APR on the Matic that I'm lending out. So I'm getting 4.3 on this $100, and I'm getting 3.2 on this farming Matic. Brilliant! <laughs> this is really fun. You can also start going into some other things. So for example, you could pop over to... Uh, Polly's app. You want to go a little bit riskier with your assets and really try and work this okay. For example, you have a really big win and you get a lot of uh, capital, like a couple grand, and you think, oh, I don't know what to do with this. You know, it's just surprise money. I didn't even know I was going to win, right? So why not put it into Aave? Like, leverage as much collateral as you can get. Get maximum risk and just go for it, you know? Why not? Spank it. That's what I do. <laughs> Not financial advice. Of course, none of this is financial advice. Please do with, act with your money responsibly. I am just showing you what I'm doing uh, as a way of exploring the crypto space and the op opportunities that are available to us. Another thing you could do is kind of what I've done here. We have over here Polly's app yield farm. Uh, the price of Polly's app has taken a bit of a hit, but they do have some really bullish news coming up. They are uh, making some changes to the the tokenomics and the way that the Polys app farm works to try and attempt to make it more sustainable. So I really like the way that the dev team work on this and they continue to uh, look after everything. For example, we look at Polys app and you think, oh, okay, what do we have here? We have uh, USDC 149% APY, 4% deposit fee. As you can see, I've gone in here. Or quick token 378% APY. Hmm. So then you could think, oh, I, I want to go in that, but I don't have enough capital. So then you go here to Ave, 
then you'd say I want to borrow, for example, I'd go stablecoin, but you could just borrow Matic and then turn it into quick token and have a go at it. So I still can borrow 700 more dollars. So say I, I decide I'm going to borrow 500 more dollars. I borrow those. Then I go into Polly's app. I deposit the $500 into this farm. And I hope, number one, I don't get rugged. And number two, I hope that I can pay off the deposit fee to get back the 4% I'm going to lose on my investment. And then once that goes, you are just earning free money. While Ave is also paying you, remember, for lending it out. So they're going to be paying you in Matic for borrowing from them. So you're getting paid from the farm and you're getting paid from Ave. What? <laughs> this is so nuts. But uh, I'm happy I found it. Like, this is a great way to get into the Matic ecosystem and really find your position, okay? So, and, you know, stacking Matic. Is, that's what we want, yeah? Like, I want to get a huge bag of Matic now. This is my idea. I want a big old bag of Matic. I'm going to be working on that. Okay, so that is today's video. Now let's get on to the draw. The draw. Let's do the draw. Here is my YouTube channel. We will find the video. Uh, this one. This was all about some yield farms. Let me just clear all these guys also because some of you also went in here. Right, let's add this in here. From this website, it says we have 58 comments. That's great. 58 comments in one day. Crazy. You guys are awesome. And then we will start the raffle. And let's see who wins. And if you got the right answer. Some of you were completely wrong. Pedro Henrique. Maybe DFYN token. You're right. You're correct, Pedro. Well done, Pedro. That's 25 uh, stable coins. I'm going to probably send you USDT over onto the Binance Smart Chain, okay? I'll send that right now over to you. By the time this video is aired, it will be in your wallet. Congratulations, guys. DFYN, by the way, you want to check this out. You can really mine for this. But an Aave, be careful, but it seems like it's a pretty cool way to leverage yourself into this uh, this new blockchain that we're playing around in. Okay, look after yourselves. Please like and subscribe. Don't get wrecked.